My name is Cyril Lachelle, and you're watching YOLO, the only show that's guaranteed to end in heartbreak. I'm taking the challenge to play every game with a you-only-live-one sort of attitude. In this case, literally. I'll play exactly one life of every game, seeing just how far I can make it on a single turn. Today we're looking at DuckTales, the Capcom classic that was first released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. This game later appeared on the Nintendo Game Boy, and a quarter century later we're finally getting an HD remake on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. That's one of the reasons we're here today. Hopefully, this quick look of DuckTales will get you in the mood for Scrooge's adventures. So let's go ahead and press the start button and see what happens. So much like Mega Man and other Capcom games, we have a choice of, of different levels. Uh, we can go to Transylvania and, and the moon and the Himalayas, but we're going to go to the Amazon. We're going to start right at the top. And the first thing you're going to notice about DuckTales is that there's jewelry scattered everywhere. We can just hit these stumps here uh, anytime we, we defeat an enemy. Uh, just look at that, right in the air. It just, just appears. As you can tell, we can use our cane as both a golf club and a pogo stick. This allows me to reach tall platforms and defeat most enemies. It's also a whole lot of fun. You'll see plenty of opportunities for me to use the cane throughout the rest of the stage. So let's go ahead and, and head down into the caverns. Um, like I said, there are a lot of secret areas, and this is going to be the first major hidden area. As you can see, we can actually walk above the level, which will give us a few more treasure chest to find. Now, I've played this game a whole bunch. Not not recently, but I know where a lot of the secrets are, and so you'll see a, a few hidden areas, so spoiler alert if that you're, you're wanting to go into the new game uh, cold or what have you. Now that we've found all of the, the hidden stuff in this area, let's head back and, and make our way towards the boss. Now, you may remember that DuckTales originally aired from September 18th 1987 all the way to November 28, 1990. Alright, so here's some fun pogo action. We actually have to, to be a little uh, a little careful here um, in, in going past these spikes. But if we time it correct, well, not, not like that. Alright, so now that we're past that, we can get past the spider here and move, move back up. Now, here we have the perfect opportunity to use our uh, our cane as a golf club and uh, defeat an enemy. Now, as you can see, we could actually keep going back the way we came. There are a couple of different paths through this this level, um, but we're just going to keep going up and we'll grab this this jewel and, uh, and just keep going. Get past these these huge flies, um, or we can head over here and grab some ice cream. Keep ha well, that that's no good. Anyway, like a lot of Capcom games from this, uh, from the, the late 80s, you're gonna find that there are all of these floating platforms that we, we have to be careful about. But these aren't too, too hard. Now, here is our first, uh, cameo appearance. Uh, here we have Lunchpad McQuack, who we're gonna see a few more times, uh, as we, as we play through this first level. Dodge this and get past that. Oh, I hate these. Now, the original series ran for 100 episodes. Oh, there's Lunchpad again. All right, so we'll, we'll go up and see what he has to say. Uh, he wants to take us back to Duckburg, but I don't want to go. I want to keep I want to keep going and defeat this level once and for all. So here's another, uh, another secret spot. Did you know that Alan Young was the man who originally voiced Scrooge McDuck? And while you may not immediately remember that name, I bet you've at least seen him before. A younger Alan played the role of Wilbur Post on the 1960s sitcom Mr. Ed. Alright, now that we're past the big boulder there, we can actually use this to find a secret hidden area. Just like before, uh, there are a bunch of ways through the level. This should take us right to the boss. Let's clear all that up. And, uh, yeah, it should take us right to the boss. Alright. So, here we have an, uh, an Incan Sentinel. Uh, this is probably the easiest of all the bosses, but this is the first level, so... You know, the, the, the secret to this game is that it's actually a lot of fun to use the pogo stick, which is one of the reasons why uh, so many people are going to have a good time when this comes back. It's a fun little mechanic that they could, they could further exploit if they decide to make sequels going forward. Who knows? 
All right, so we're done with this level. It just adds up our, our total. We had a pretty good haul there. Most people never see it, but DuckTales actually has a bad ending if Scrooge ends up bankrupt at the end of the game. Given all the valuables lying around, that's really tough to pull off. So this has a completely different look and style, and uh, you'll probably see even more cameos. We may, we may see Huey, Dewey, and Louie in here, and I suspect we're going to see the Beagle Boys as well. Uh, this game actually has a whole lot of cool cameos, uh, including Magicka Dispel uh, and uh, uh, Flintheart Glomgold, the, the second richest duck in the world, if I, if I remember correctly. DuckTales was a huge critical hit, but you'll have to tune into Tuesday's episode of Review Crew for more information. Ah, we gotta get away from the, from the ghost and the skeleton uh, ducks. So here's our first Beagle Boy, and as you can see, there's Huey. He's the one in red. Uh, we'll see what he has to say, and apparently there's an illusion wall in here somewhere, so we'll have to be on the, the lookout for that. This was just one of the many Disney afternoon shows that, that they had at that, at that time. There was also a Chippendales Rescue Rangers and Tailspin, uh, which both of those ran 65 episodes, and uh, Gummy Bears, that ran 94 episodes, uh, Darkwing Duck, uh, 91 episodes, and uh, even though I never never watched it, uh, Bonkers ran 65 episodes. There are all these caskets around, we can hit them and uh, avoid the ghosts or, or not. Alright, so maybe this is one of the, the walls that he's talking about. We can grab, a, grab ourselves this, this extra life. Well, let's, let's see what that, I don't know, that's not a good idea. Oh, that just made it worse for me. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. If this game followed the comics more closely, Donald Duck would have been part of the game. But to account for his absence, Disney uh, said that Donald had joined the Navy. That's why he's he's never around. All right, so here we can teleport. Ah, yes. It wouldn't be a 2D action game without minecarts. Well, let's let's try that. <laughs> let's try that again. Did you know that Scrooge's first appearance wasn't on TV or even in Mickey's Christmas Carol? It was actually in a comic book uh, called uh, Christmas on Bear Mountain. He played a cankerous old misanthrope, but he quickly transformed into the lovable adventure seeker we see here today. And while we're on the topic, you know that lucky number one dime Scrooge was always talking about? Well, he got that dime from giving a shoe shine when he was 10 years old. And it's not just any old dime. It's an 1857 Seated Liberty dime, which is worth upwards of $700 these days. I don't like this room at all. There was an NES sequel, but it wasn't as well regarded as the original. Fortunately, the show went off the air, and we never got a third DuckTales game. So hopefully this, this resurrects DuckTales. The upcoming remake will fill in a lot of the gaps in the story and fix the end boss fight. Trust me, that's welcome news. Finally, we'll figure out why Scrooge is fighting a giant space rat. We're picking up all kinds of free lives here. Alright, so here's another illusion wall. So we have a choice between two mirrors, two teleporters. Uh, left or right? Left or right? Well, let's, let's go with right. And as we dodge the ghosts here, we should be able to... We should get right to... Oh, let's not... Forget about those. Uh, this should take us right to the boss. So here's Magicka Dispel. Of course, you'll recognize her if you've, if you've seen the show. We should, uh, it should be the same process of just pogo sticking on her, but we, should, we need to dodge these lightning strikes. It's a predictable pattern, but God, I can't seem to get it right. All right, hold on. Let's get under. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, that... That was anticlimactic. We didn't get to see three levels, but we did get to see two full stages. Two bosses, two full stages. That's out of five. Uh, that's a good taste. You have to see what happens next when the game comes out later this week on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Or, you know, you could always play this, this NES one. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next. And tune in for new episodes on defunctgames.com every Thursday and Sunday. See you next time on YOLO.